Hi everybody, Fintan here from Danzen, and this week we are talking about OneDrive and Google Drive. Some of the similarities and some of the key differences. If you want to know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So firstly, I want to talk about some of the similarities because there are huge similarities between the two products. Both are places to store your files and you can store Microsoft files uh, in both Google Drive and OneDrive. They both have a file management system that's fairly similar. Um, you know, when you right click on a file, you can move it and copy it and look at the details of it. You can share it and collaborate with others on it. So a lot of that functionality around the management of the files is fairly similar on both products. Now, I will say that within Google Drive, uh, they have it set up for, I would say, easier file management. So I can do a drop down on the left hand side that allows me to see all of the files and sub, all the folders, sorry, and subfolders within that particular uh, set of folders. And within OneDrive, there isn't that sort of left hand panel navigation. I've got to um, do everything within the right hand panel. And that for me makes the kind of moving files and sort of knowing um, where things are in terms of standard file management that people would be used to on their computers. It actually looks a lot um, more similar to what you would have on your PC or your Mac in Finder on a Mac or, or in your Windows Explorer on a Windows machine. It looks a lot more similar to Google Drive. And so you're able to actually navigate around, move files and folders around very easy via drag and drop. And so I quite like that. Um, also within Google Drive, you have shared drives and shared drives is kind of in the Microsoft world, probably more similar to something in SharePoint um, or that's what Microsoft would have. And I think that comes to the fundamental problem of OneDrive that in the Microsoft world, where you can place files um, is in multiple places. So you can put it in OneDrive, but you can also put it um, in uh, Microsoft Teams and that's generally linking back to some sort of SharePoint site. And so there are multiple places that you can have your documentation and many complaints that we hear from users is that they find it difficult to find where they've actually put something or where they've shared something. Whereas in Google, Google Drive is the only place that you can really store a document uh, and share it with someone. And so it makes it easier to know where to go to search for whatever file or folder it is that you're looking for. So um, when, we're, when we're thinking about um, when we're thinking about Google and we're thinking about OneDrive, um, sharing and collaborating is probably, you know, one of the key benefits of it. And you can share a, a file online with uh, OneDrive and you can obviously do the same with Google. Where we, again, we see the difference, the collaboration features still within Google are much more real time. Uh, although Microsoft does have a form of, of live collaboration. But this sort of you know, real-time collaboration that, that, that Google has is definitely, um, and again, it doesn't, doesn't tend to matter who you ask, it, you know, Google is much faster when it comes to that and much more real-time. Um, we still get delays in, de in demonstrations or in testing uh, on OneDrive. Okay, so one of the other key um, sort of comparisons or differences is the sharing. So with Google Drive, if you look at the sharing of a document, uh, whether you're looking at it within the file manager or whether you open the document and look at it within the document itself, the screen that you're presented with for sharing is the same screen. So as, as an end user, the UI, the interface is exactly the same. With uh, OneDrive, it actually has two different forms of sharing, which can be confusing for users. And I have even met a lot of OneDrive users and administrators that don't even know about this. So. If I right click on a, on a document in OneDrive, I can share it and it will bring up a share screen, which actually shares it via the link with a select group of people, which is unusual, not a feature that's available in Google Drive. Or there's something that's called manage access and that will add someone directly to a file or folder. And that's much more similar to what you would expect within Google Drive. And the problem with this is that when you open a file in OneDrive and you go to share it, it uses this share functionality, not the manage access. And so what the user is presented with is different depending on basically where they, they look at the share settings. And again, that can cause a lot of confusion with users. And it really is about that ease of use, um, I feel. And I think definitely Microsoft has a, a lot of benefits in terms of familiarity. People are familiar with Word and Excel and PowerPoint. But 
when it comes to new tools like OneDrive, there tends to be, um, you know, sometimes it's this sort of ease of use isn't necessarily there. Often it's easier to use a product like, like Google Drive. Um, the next area that I want to talk about, the next area that I want to talk about is offline access. And um, people often think that offline access isn't possible within Google Drive, but it actually is. Both products have this functionality. But then that actually leads me to the, my final point which is about um, the, the web interface. And Google is obviously designed to be viewable and accessible on the web. Microsoft, on the other hand, is not. And so, although OneDrive uh, does have uh, web-based uh, web capabilities and you can access it on the web and you can access um, web versions of Word and Excel and PowerPoint, in order to have the full functionality within the Microsoft world, and when you're doing that comparison, it can often be confusing again, where you can think that it has a particular feature, but it may only be available if you install the application onto your desktop. Now, a lot of people like being able to install desktop applications, particularly if they're more Microsoft focused, but many of our customers who've been living in the cloud for a long time are used to still having offline access will know that the management overhead for IT is much reduced when you don't have to install applications like Word and Excel and PowerPoint and Outlook and, and you don't have to manage that. And from the end user point of view, it's far less likely that things are going to go wrong. And also, no matter what device they access the information on, they're having the same experience. And so as I talked to a, a, a customer there recently, a, a large Irish newspaper, they're able to just set up a device with Chrome and send the device out to somebody, a Chromebook, and that user can get working immediately. And I think that's the advantage of the web, that like really there is no information being held on the device itself. The interface is the same for everybody, no matter where they are or what device they're accessing it from. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. I'd love to know what experience you've had with OneDrive and Google Drive, and what differences, similarities, pros and cons that you've found. Please do let us know in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. Uh, YouTube and LinkedIn are our two primary channels, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Damson offer services uh, around uh, Google and Google Workspace. We help organizations move or migrate to the cloud. We help them with security workshops, um, with deployments, with change management, and with training. Do please check out our website if you're interested in any of those services. Thanks very much, and I will catch you guys next week. That's a nice little ending that I just had lived there. <laughs> you can actually, you can actually buy stuff. You don't, you, you don't realize that, don't you? We're not just. Oh.